I'm always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Let it swing right back Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video I've decided that I'm going to do a Christmassy inspired set. We have some new loose glitters, some new metallic acrylics and I thought why the heck not, let's give it a go. So I've chosen um, this loose glitter which I actually can't remember the name because I've literally just nicked it off of the table but I will pop it on screen for you guys. I think that it's called evergreen if I remember correctly look how gorgeous it is super super Christmassy so this will be launched with our um, Christmas glitters and we have I think 12 ish new ones I'm gonna be using the dish the Dappen dish which is our huge crystal dish and it has a lid as well which is absolutely stunning so I'm just gonna fill that up with monomer I'm going to be using the crystal clear and also the perfect pink as the cover powder. So I've already applied the easy tips to my practice hand and this is how they look. But I'm going to trim them down because I want a nice coffin shape. I don't want a full stiletto and honestly these tips make the easiest coffin shape ever. So I'm literally just going to trim down like that on each nail hopefully I'm doing these straight I'm getting myself in a bit of a fluster it's been a long time since I've filmed like this you guys know honestly check back on my um, you know YouTube channel and you'll see it's been a long time but I'm back and it's good to be here very good okay so wow I really did do that let me just pop back in there Turn that down. Just trim the pinky a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to start off first and apply my clear base. I'm just going to saturate my brush first, make sure that we are good to go. And then I'm just going to come in with a quick, oh let me move that out of the way, let me move my dish. It was all set up wrong. It's the nerves, honestly. So I'm just going to pick up my clear acrylic and literally just do a quick wash of that on the nails. And that is going to be our clear base. Of course I'm working on a practice hand, but it would be a clear base if you were doing a client or your own nails. And it's just going to make sure that we've got a nice surface to be working on. For the clear base, you don't want it to be too thin. You want to make sure that you are creating enough Kind of platform on that area but also you don't want it to be too thick because if you do it too thick your nails are just going to be super bulky and you're going to have unnecessary products there as well
Okay, so I didn't really have a plan for this look, but I just wanted to do something simple since I'm literally like very nervous for some reason. It's been months since I've been on and I feel like I've forgotten what to do. I'm just a bit all over the place. So I wanted to do something simple, but I wanted to use the new powders and things. So I'm gonna come in with one of the new metallics, which is metallic forest green. This one may have launched by now, but if not, it's going to be very, very soon. We just launched our holographic and iridescent sets and they are stunning. So these are like the next kind of stage in that basics collection. It's such a gorgeous Christmassy forest green. I absolutely love it. And I also want to use Snake Charmer as well, which is kind of a khaki green, shimmery, but I wanted a solid colour within this. I don't want to just kind of flood it with loads of glitter and have nothing for it to sit on top of. So we're going to come in and just do a random design. I'm going to pick out a little bit of that loose glitter and just pop it on the paper towel. Just so I can pick out individual pieces if I want to for a certain area on the nail. Okay, so I think I'm actually gonna start on the pinky finger and we're gonna go ahead and use that metallic forest green and I'm gonna do a full nail. Wow, that is so pretty. I need to do my nails. I've been meaning to do them for a few weeks, but every time I sat down, I literally just couldn't for the life of me decide what length that I wanted. So I ended up just sitting there for ages and ages and ages and then didn't do them. And I've literally been doing that for weeks. But I feel like this filming session is going to give me the inspiration that I need to do my nails. Hopefully. So I'm just pushing that glitter up to the cuticle, making it neat and tidy. Hopefully everything's in focus. Again. I'm very new at this, let's pretend it's my first day at work and I'm trying my best. I'm pushing it into position and we're just going to pull down. That is literally freaking stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely lovely gorgeous. Okay, let's, let's get to it. So I'm gonna go ahead now and use Perfect Pink. Do you know what, I don't know if I'm gonna use Snake Charmer now that I've got that on the nail, because let me show you what the Snake Charmer colored acrylic looks like. It would look pretty on a Christmas set, but I'm just not quite sure. It's a bit more of a different green. I'll see. See you later on. Okay, so we're gonna come in with that perfect pink. I'm picking up a nice medium bead. I'm gonna place it at the cuticle. Allow it to just flow just for a second. You want it to kind of get its evenness. Bring it back in and we're gonna push up and make sure to control that bead. Tucking it in at the cuticle area and then pulling down. And it's very important that you do take care of that cuticle area first because it's something that is really difficult to change because it's so close to the skin and all of that good stuff. Um, you just struggle to kind of remove it with ease or file it off or anything like that. So it's important. And plus you want your nails to look nice and last long as well. If you are kind of messing up on that area and you feel like you're getting it all in the skin, all on the... Um, cuticle and the side walls then the ratio of your acrylic is not correct and you need to just practice that on a paper towel first or on a practice hand or what else you know just get good at it and you'll see that it is better and better with practice okay so 
I'm gonna come in with that forest green again on the free edge. As I said, I've decided not to use the Snake Charmer on this set, but I'm just gonna use this nice and wet as a base for my evergreen glitter. So I've popped it on the nail on the free edge. I'm gonna just pull it up slightly, just so we've got the start of that kind of ombre. And then I'm gonna dip into my clear with a nice small wet bead and we've picked up some of that evergreen chunky Christmas glitter and we're just gonna place that over the top. And that's what I have created these fine acrylics for, to act as bases for your chunky glitters. Look how pretty that looks. So we've created the basics range in the iridescent, in the holographic and also the metallic. And it's just gonna really open up the kind of scope of designs that you can create and layering up that process. Um, I just think it's necessary to make more options like all the time. Also, I feel like I'm being so serious. <laughs> I need to like shake myself out a little bit. Honestly, I'll, I'll be back soon guys. I need to film a few more and then I'll be like a full force lunatic. I think, stop looking, why would you say that? I know I'm a lunatic now, but <laughs> it's coming back. <laughs> Don't laugh. I can't blood a seal. You've made me go red now. It's a good job I've worn makeup today. <laughs> Honest to God. Right, so I'm gonna pop some clear acrylic just to hold that gold star in place. And I'm actually gonna add another. Just there. How pretty and Christmassy does that look? It looks so cute. So I think I'm going to do, this is what I'm like, honestly, making sets up on the go. You can get good at it if you do it all the time, you know what I'm saying, which I pretty much do. I very, very rarely plan a set. And even if I do, I tend to change it. But yeah, I'm kind of just looking, seeing where we're at, seeing what I think might go with the floor. Just let me rein it in. So we could do uh, I definitely want some more of that chunky glitter in there. So I think we'll do a full chunky glitter nail on this one and then we'll decide. We'll decide what to do on the middle finger. So I'm coming in and I am gonna lay down some of that um, forest green glitter acrylic just as the base and as well this is going to help so do you know when you're working with a chunky glitter and you think oh I can't really get close to the cuticle you're going to be able to do that with this or with our range of the fine glitter acrylics and then come in with your chunky glitter so it won't look like you've got kind of a real massive you know gap around that area so yeah I hope you guys enjoy the ranges and think that they are really nice and beautiful because I think they're stunning. Okay, so I'm picking up the chunky glitter and I'm just placing it on the nail. Not really too fussed about where kind of everything is laying at the minute. I'm just getting it on there and then I can worry about kind of moving it around. We have a few seconds or, so, well, quite a long time actually. About 36 seconds until the acrylic sets. And depending on room temperature, we have plenty of time to kind of play around with it. I'm just picking up some extra pieces from the paper towel that I think will fit nicely. Some of those little red stars. Really, really pretty. And then I'm just gonna come in with my clear acrylic and I'm just gonna take a nice wet bead I want one of those really nice gold stars on the top in full view and we're just going to lay it there make sure it's patted in and that's how that one looks it's so pretty so this is where we're at with the full set 
it looks really really cute and I think on this this one darlings we may actually come in with perfect pink and a swoop of chunky glitter I think that will look pretty I think it'll look pretty so we're gonna do the entire nail with the core powder I'm just pulling that down the nail don't want to work too thick because we are going to be capping this as well So that is where we are at. And I think that looks so pretty. Super Christmas here. I am so excited for Christmas. We do have our decorations up already. Put them up freaking ages ago because why the heck not? Has anybody else got their decorations up yet or are you waiting? I know so many people wait for the 1st of December, but honestly, it's not for me. I literally keep them up as well to like, I don't know, middle of jam, do we? Yeah? The middle of jam, hell yeah. Christmas is life, and I love it. Okay, let's come in with our swoosh of glitter. I've got a tiny little bit of forest green on the end, and um, we're gonna place it in the middle, splodge just like so. We're gonna sweep it up, because it doesn't really matter as well. You don't need a full kind of trail. Can you see how some of that's gone a bit fizzled out? Absolutely fine. I'm going to bring it across like that. Almost in an angle, but you kind of just want to curve it. I mean, almost in an angle, obviously. Duh. Almost as like a diagonal, I think, line. But curved. We're going to curve it like an S. I don't even know if that made sense. I don't think so. But anyway, so after we've done that, you want to come in with some clear and I've just got a little amount and I'm literally just going to put that over the top of that very lightly. If you need to, you can wait for the other acrylic to dry that you already applied. And then we're going to pick up our chunky pieces of glitter that we've tipped out onto the towel because we want to be very selective in this process and get the right pieces on. You don't want to just moosh it all on, although you could, but you're literally just winging it if you do that. You want a bit more structure to these ones because then they look pretty. Picking up a little red star. How pretty does that look? I'm just gonna add a little bit more I think I need just a little, a little bit more red on this area. Bit of that tinsel. Make sure that everything's tucked in. Don't want anything hanging off the edge. And I think that looks super pretty. So let's take a look at the set as a whole. Everybody. Wowee. If that's not Christmas, I don't know. Do you know what? I'm 
I'm gonna have to add the glitter onto that pinky finger. Although, yes, don't mind me changing things up last minute. I know the pinky finger is really cute and it looks nice, but now that I've got the glitter on every other nail, it isn't really sitting right with me. So we're gonna add some of that chunky glitter to the pinky as well, because why the heck not? Picking it up in the same way, just using some clear acrylic, putting it onto the nail and just moving it around. Super pretty, super easy as well to create like a festive nail. And also you can use these with gel polish if there are any gel polish users watching. Not the acrylic obviously, the chunky glitter, the loose glitters can be used with the gel. Um, I will do a video on that specifically, kind of going through everything and showing you guys how to do it. I feel like I did do one, but it probably wasn't in too much detail. So we'll do a new one, we'll do a new one together. Okay, that, that looks much better. That kind of makes a set fit more. Didn't really fit very well prior to that. How cute. Bloody adorable. Oh, that's a better, that's a better angle. So pretty, so pretty. I love it, I love it. Okay, so now we've got all of our design on the nail and everything is kind of almost dry. We've just got to wait for that pinky nail. We can come in with our clear acrylic and cap everything. And that is just going to seal everything in and make sure that when we file the nail that we are not ruining any of the design that we've just created because that would be terrible. Um, also, I want to let you guys know that you should definitely take a second and just turn on the bell, hit the subscribe button, do all of that good stuff, share the video, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below just because I would hate you guys to miss any content that I upload and that's basically it. So please do it if you already didn't. I would really appreciate it. Thank you. Well, that was weird saying that for the first time in freaking like months. I think July, what? July, August, August, was it? Oh no. Further back. May. Yeah. Like May. Because we moved obviously, didn't we? And then we haven't yeah. done it since then. Wow, well, that's been a long time. But thou shall be fine once I'm back into my natural habitat. Anyway, let's come in with a clear and cap these nails. So I always start with a bead towards the centre of the nail and just let it flow down. You can always come in and add another towards the edge if you feel like you need a little bit more thickness for the structure. Don't just add thickness for the sake of it because the thicker the nail doesn't mean the stronger the nail. Bet you didn't know that, did you? Neither did I for a long time, until I learnt it, of course, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> but I remember when I used to do my nails, I would do them so thick, thinking these are never going to come off, they're going to be so strong, and it just wasn't the case. It is definitely all about the structure and the shape. I'm just going to come in with a final bead at the cuticle area. Just let it flow, wipe off the brush. You want to continuously wipe off your brush. Do not clog it up, it's your baby. You have to look after it. I'm going to push that bead up to the cuticle, tucking it in and round that side as well. And then once we've done that and we're happy, we can then pull it down and blend it in to the existing bead. And that's our nail cap. So I'm just gonna go and cap all of the other nails and then I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, I am back and I have finished 
filing. I've removed all of the dust from the nails. I will be washing the practice hand for my final pictures because we don't want any kind of, you know, bits all over there. So now we're going to come in with super gloss and we're going to top coat the nails. So let's just take a look at how they are looking. Super fresh and ready for that top coat. I don't even know what happened to my voice there, but anyway. So this one's the top coat super gloss. It is freaking bomb. Literally amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna add a nice glossy top coat. And I know these nails are quite basic. There's not really much kind of going on, but because it's my first time back, you know, in front of the camera and it's all a bit nerve wracking, um, I thought I would keep it quite simple just easy and then I can kind of get some ideas for the next one and feel more comfortable because this is all, although I've done it for a while, it's been so long, literally so long. So it just feels all weird. But yeah, you probably noticed that anyway. So let's come in with top coat. Can't wait for these to sparkle. Wow. Give me so much inspo for my nails because honestly I really have been struggling like, do I go full blown Christmas? Do I do some candy cane inspired? Frosty? There's so many different bloody like designs and stuff that you could do. Cap that free edge, and that's just going to stop the top coat from chipping. How gorgeous is that? Like, damn. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It might have been a bit all over the place because, you know, like I said, I'm getting back into it. But hopefully you'll tune in for another because this has been so fun and I've really enjoyed it. Really, really enjoyed it so much. Look at that, that looks super festive. It looks like um, a Christmas garland draping across the nail freaking love it so I haven't cured that so I've got to be careful with my practice hand not to kind of smoosh the next nail um, because it's not cured yet so if you're working on a practice hand be mindful of that I've done it many times and it is freaking annoying just getting up to that cuticle area and pulling the top coat down So pretty, honestly, so pretty. Honestly, I can't believe how freaking gorgeous they look. I'm just gonna pop this in the lamp for 60 seconds. Okay, so they are just drying in the lamp for about 60 seconds. And then I will wipe down my practice hand, get rid of all the dust, and then add a little bit of cuticle oil around the cuticle area. And that just kind of makes it look crisp and clean. You'll see what I'm talking about. I think it just finishes off a practice hand and makes it look a lot better. But if you guys want a video on how I kind of style my practice hands and how I make them look real in pictures and all of that good stuff, let me know down below. Um, I think it's a good kind of knowledge to have, especially with a nail business that's new because you can do your sets and practice but you can also use those pictures to promote your work and look like sets that you've done on clients to potential clients. So I think it's a good kind of pocket of knowledge to have. So yeah, let me know what you think. I can get something put together. Probably lying about that. I don't put things together. I just hop on and bloody tell you guys um, everything I know. So 
but yeah, I can definitely come on and do that if it's something you are interested in because it's not as easy as just, or as simple as just getting the hand and taking the picture. You've got to kind of pause it, um, make sure it's clean, make sure the background's right and the angles and the finish, just everything. Like there's so many little aspects that, you know, can make or break a picture. It's, it's just important, so yeah. I know I've probably convinced you by now, but something we could definitely go through. Um, so this is how the nails are looking and I think they look freaking gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. I'm loving how they've turned out. It's making me want Christmas nails. I currently have no nails on and definitely need some. It's been a hot minute. I think I worked it out like, like three, four months. <coughs> Thickening. Like I've never had nails, not had any nails on for that long in my life. Like what is going on? Okay, so I'm just removing the practice tips from my hand so I can go ahead and wash this because that is literally just how I like to do it. So I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, so I've cleaned up the practice hand and here she is. Here is this super festive Christmassy set of nails using our new loose glitter and our new metallic acrylic premix glitter powder as well in the shade, oh yes, my mind was playing tricks on me. Forest green and then we have evergreen which is the loose glitter. But I'll link everything down below so you can check them out if you want to. And look at this stunning set, it is so freaking gorgeous. I'm gonna do some end screen shots and pictures and all of that good stuff. And hopefully you guys like the close-ups. Let's do it. So that is it for this video guys. I really hope you've enjoyed watching. I hope you've loved to see me create this super festive set using the chunky glitters and the acrylics. And yeah, thank you so much for joining me. As always, please remember you are bomb.com lit as fuck and don't ever let anybody tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye. See you later. Ciao. Au revoir. Adios. Woo. <laughs>